Barrera can make something out of that reach. And again, with getting busy early with the jab, which Dave is an often about the doubling up with the left hook to the body. Good one. But the jab is going to do one of two things. It's either going to open up the center line for that straight left punch. Happened as you were talking about it for Barrera, who threw the jab out and got Spence to react quickly. The Spence has a world of speed. And I don't know if it's being in his hometown turf, feeling the pressure of wanting to put on a big show. So we put up enough eyes for, for people to start talking about that next stepping stone, that next opponent that'll bring him to a, a get the top of the card. And all those things come together. So I can play into the anxiousness. So Barrera, this is going to be your hardest fight. As we And here we look at, back at some of that action. And there's that uppercut and that a little more action. Here you go, another right uppercut. Boom, chambered. Great left hook followed by left uppercut. That doubled up. It always works well. I always loved watching Mike Tyson. If it doesn't look like a shot that's easy to land and then the guy can put two of them together. So now Spence trying to settle down, lands a good right hook and he drilled Barrero with that one. He loads up with a big right hand. They'll remember the wobble. Oh, yeah. They get back to that. Set it up. He's, oh, big left hand. With good reason, baby. He's trying to sit down on his punches. But when he's chasing a moving target outside of his range, it's hard to sit down. He Uppercut by Barrera. Saying not so. to tick off a signature round for Spence Jr. And there we see the right hook from Spence. That it, you see Spence comes in, he lands that straight left, and there's the right hook. Browns of 12, Errol Spence Jr., Alejandro Barrera. Uppercut by Barrera. Fighter wants to keep, who's pressing the action, wants to keep his lead foot on the outside of his opponents, because he's stepping on the left foot of Spence. So as Spence goes to pull back, but Spence went to pull back, his his pull is halted because his foot is stepped on. Do it, but if they're fast enough, they can get out of the way after they throw an uppercut from too far out. Right. And Spence with a good left hand, and he's been doing some good footwork of his own. To quick, every time he gets hit, every time he gets cracked, he fires back with bad intentions. Four of the scheduled 12 rounder. Spence Jr. 18 and 0, 15 knockouts. Barrera 28 and and raising a little protest between rounds. By Barrera missed and left hand by Spence got in. This round. He's really started working behind that jab, following it up with the left. Spence is most effective working his way in behind that jab. Time! Five, Errol Spence Jr., Alejandro Barrera. Pace, but he also looks more settled in. That first round and a half, he looked very anxious. 
Good left hand by Spence. He's Wind him up, and here he comes. Oh, yeah, they're just coming out of no place. Right into deep water. Still game with an uppercut. Good right hook by Spence. A lot of time. It was the body shot that dropped Barrera to open that body up again. He's here got he to comes. go downstairs. And Does you Barrera see Barrera stop? Taking... Barrera had that gear in the headlight. Body head action. You see the straight left finds its mark. Barrera back on slot. It's the left right to the body. And the right was the one that set him down. And here you see, look at Barrera's face. He's shaking his head as he's trying to defend. Prey goes to the body, goes to the body. Barrera's shaking his head, no. The referee's shaking his head. And remaining perfect, Errol, the truth, Spence Jr.